Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I got a little fridge, you know, and I have a little studio here that I like to bring in some drinks and stuff like that, or have my turkey set up for it, or other accessories you could have. And normally I had a smaller fridge, it was half the size of this. Is. This is a 7.6 cubic feet, actually, that's what it is really light um i still recommend you two people carrying this and i'm gonna talk about some of the stuff that you should be aware of before you buy some of this uh, i'm gonna open it up unbox it it's the biggest unbox i've done so far but i can't wait to see the full 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 um, open box and see the product itself and if you guys like it make sure you guys subscribe and hit the like button also one other thing it's on sale right now so by the time i get this video i, I hopefully you guys Get that information so you guys can start doing your homework and reviewing and what you get so let's open it up and i'm gonna put the model number through and everything else and what's included in here so stick around well one thing i found out about the fridge right now so far so when you purchase the fridge if it's if you're gonna travel with the fridge flat you gotta wait 24 hours before you turn it on the reason is that Pretty much the defrosty oils are gonna go up to the top and they have to be on the bottom where the engine's at. So uh, what I was told from the store that you can connect it right when you get it off. It has to be standing up straight at least for 24 hours, even longer if it's possible. Um, like I said, you don't wanna ru ruin a brand new item they just purchased. So those are the things that, that was told. Packing is pretty simple. Um, after you unwrap the plastics that are wrapped around, you can pick up the cardboard from the top, but I don't have the room on the roof here to take the thing out outside and bring it back in here because we're talking about maybe almost a hundred pounds, I would say, of fridge. And so I choose to cut it open the front and open it up, take out the foam out and ready to go. So let's go ahead and continue on with the setup and then we're gonna open it up and unwrap it. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful fridge. So right now, if you guys see this, this is stainless uh, grips. Uh, it looks like the old fashions, 1950s, 1960s, Coca-Cola uh, fridge, pretty much. It's 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 short. It's not that big. Like I said, it's one of those, um, it's 7.6 cubic feet of uh, square space. But the, the inside, the freezer, let's open it up. The freezer itself, it is only 1.6 cubic feet of space. Of course, removing this, you know, it's simple. Um, very simple to remove back in, in and forth. But the only thing I don't see an LED light in here. I think this is pretty much going to be dark. I haven't set it on. I haven't hooked it up yet. But my hand fits all the way to the back, and it fits pretty much all the way to my 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 elbow. That's pretty much the distance of it. Uh, not that bad. It's pretty deep. You could fit two turkeys in here. Um, Twenty pounds of turkeys, probably not no more than that. Uh, pretty simple. It has a little shelf on the side here. This is plastic made, stainless steel on the top too. Uh, actually, this is plastic right here. It looks like stainless steel, but it's plastic. Uh, it's not a very expensive fridge. This is uh, this was under three hundred dollars at Home Depot. It was three hundred dollars at Home Depot. Right now, this is gonna set you back for a year use. It's gonna use around forty six dollars uh, estimate of forty six dollars of power. Um, it does have a uh, three hundred and eighty six kilowatts. It uses a year. That's pretty much that it's going to set you back to. That's how the calculation was that it's going to set you back $46 a year. So not that bad. Um, it is. Let's open the, the bottom part now. So we're going to open it up. And this one doesn't have a, a push button or anything. It's pretty much open it and close. There is an LED light in here that we're going to connect. We're going to set it up. Um, controls for the freezer and the air uh, for the, not the freezer, but the actual fridge itself now i didn't see that in the freezer there is no controls for the freezer that's a weird one but this is only the fridge part and we haven't even set it up to actually light it up this is a little safety mechanism that turns off and on the light pretty much by it's a simple mechanism that just just close the door and it just closes it up um shelf space it has sections one here section two three four five and this is like you can move this around shit i don't want to break this right now the first day but this is glass very simple um it has grips in the back uh, the bottom part if you guys see the bottom part let me zoom in a little bit out the bottom part is actually um a little case in here if you guys see it you can put a couple beer sodas and there's plenty of 
room for everything. Now these shelves here right now they currently have plastic is brand new but these also could be removed for a higher uh, soda. Uh, you could fit a two liter bottle here probably. It seems like it's pretty wide enough for a two liter bottle. You put probably multiple ones. One, two, and three. Three of them you could probably fit across. Uh, on the top, this is uh, adjustable. You, there's another level here that you could adjust it. So right now we're cutting one, two, three, and four, the last level. So you could actually take this whole tray and put it one level below. Um, that's what I'm gonna end up doing right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Love the, I love this old style. It looks really nice and neat. Uh, we're gonna balance it out right now because it's a little crooked. If you guys see it, I'm gonna see underneath if it, you could tighten it up and maybe balance it out so it could it won't shake too much because right now it's it looks like it's off balance. If you guys could see it, it's it's small. It's under five feet or somewhere on under five feet. Smaller freezer and small little fridge, but it's bigger than the last one. The only price difference is under three hundred dollars plus tax. It's going to cost you some money, but overall, beautiful stainless steel bottom. I like that they they set up the whole fridge where you actually see these old handles in the old way. So I like black. They have it in two colors, red and black. And I choose black because uh, I want it to stand out with my rest of my stuff. Ignore my junk here. <laughs> That's my stuff I have in here. But this is where it's going to reside at in my garage. So beautiful top. I don't think you could store anything on the top because it's kind of smoothed out and everything is going to fall out. I'm afraid I'm putting fingerprints all over the fridge. But I think you can see it from my angle. Grabbing stuff here and there. Not that hard. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this fridge a lot as much as I can. I had the last one for maybe uh, four or five years and it served me well. So this was a different version. So we're gonna go ahead and see if I can close it. See, the only thing that you have to be worried about closing it. So it closes okay, but if you don't have it balanced, you're gonna have this issue. See how I close it? It gets a magnet on there. There is magnets in here. This is the magnet that's collecting that closes the fridge and there is some sponges on it. But if you don't have it balanced, you're gonna be worried about that part and then you might damage your fridge. Uh, like I said, if you travel with it and it's sideways, you gotta wait 24 hours before you plug it in. So we're gonna give it some time before we plug it in and um, tell you how it goes and we'll come back. All right, we're gonna commence here too. I forgot to mention something. So this is the motor in the back, if you guys see it. And it's protected by this little cover here for any kind of draining of water. So it won't, you know, hit the motor or anything out, the compressor. And if you guys see it, it looks like there's even access, um, access um, to add more of the liquid later down the line. If you guys can see a little top in there, and the copper. Now, the only thing I didn't like about this was that the wire is too short. It's about less than three feet. Uh, so if you want to connect this, you're gonna have, you're gonna need an extension for this for sure, 100%. But other than that, it's not bad. Underneath of it, there's some little rollers that you could actually twist so you could balance it out and have it balance to um, zero out. Of course, you want to do that too because, like I said, if you're gonna close the door, you're gonna have an issue. Just make sure you close it right properly. Uh, balance it out so I would you pick up the fridge somebody twists in the bottom or somebody picks up fridge so before you load it up make sure you do that and back of it nothing fancy only the model number and I'll put out the and the description too so you guys can know and a caution side about you know about flammable stuff um, uh, liquid in the system it could cause an explosion risks you know pretty much the normal thing that you get in the fridge so that's about it all right, this is how it looks with the light on. Um, it's a little shitty. <laughs> I'm not gonna blame you, uh, blame it on the light, but the light's pretty poor. I mean, yeah, it's an LED light. I'm not quite sure if it's it is or not. Well, if you guys can see it, it's not an LED light, which uh, I'm a little disappointed because it would last a little longer. So it is a light bulb. You have to buy a little tiny one. Uh, overall, I was able to adjust these uh, trays. So they have equally uh, divided the, the I'm, I'm not planning to put a two liter bottle on this because uh, uh, eventually this is gonna break. It's plastic. It, it's not 100% well made. 
Uh, so just to give you guys up, this thing is not a hundred percent well made like I thought it was gonna be. And if you guys see, there's a drainage storage right here. You guys see it right there in the bottom. So any condensed moisture comes down straight to the bottom to the tray to the bottom, right below, and um, it, it all accumulates in the bottom, of course, in the back. And I showed you guys a little bit on that. But overall, this thing's um, cranking up right now. It's it's hopefully it'll, it'll stay cool for tomorrow and I'm gonna start adding the sodas and see how well it looks in here. So you guys can see it, this is fully loaded right now. I got maybe four packs of juices for kids in the bottom. Um, uh, 30, 36 pack I think is for the Sprite and they also took some of it and then there's 30 pack of uh, mini so Coca-Colas if you guys can see it it's condensing real quick it's getting real cold real quick and I just plugged it in a couple minutes ago um, plenty of space for the minis on the top um, here you will put you could put regular size uh, sodas and uh, of course extra sp space um, I have so much space that I had to actually I'm gonna start moving some of the stuff on this side so I can balance maybe the weight on the thing which makes no difference because um it's 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 already heavy as it is but it's going there and i put a couple of things in uh no room for water in this one <laughs> because i didn't have no waters right now but we're getting ready for thanksgiving of course and and these are going to be gone by the end of the day so just to give you guys a heads up and see how you guys think and you guys can see it fully loaded lights a little shitty that's the only thing i like about it but the fridge it's balanced out and it won't move no more so it's gonna be overnight um cooling itself down so let's see how it goes and if you have any questions or any comments hit me up i'm your host frank the tank out